Hi friends, welcome to Ajayal Content. With this video, we are going to start a new playlist, which is Spice Park. As Spice Park is also one of the important key subjects that we should learn if we want to become a data engineer or if we already are a data engineer, we should have a good hands-on experience on Spice Park. So in this particular video, we will just go through the introduction of Spice Park. And we will get a glimpse of what is PySpark, what is Apache Spark ecosystem, and what is the features of PySpark, and what are the advantages of PySpark, and why should we use it. So let's start. So PySpark is basically the combination of two things. First one is Apache Spark, and the second is Python. Okay, so that's why the term is called PySpark, where Py is basically Python, and Spark is nothing but the Apache Spark. So now what is Apache Spark? Okay, so Apache Spark is basically an open source unified analytics engine. So we can call it as an engine which provides the environment or the cluster to run our Python programming and to create our application. So Apache Spark is basically an open source unified analytics engine which is used for large scale data processing. So basically it is developed in order to process the big data analytics and we can think of it as the runtime engine, which provides us the interactive cluster in order to create our programs or our applications. Okay. Now, what is PySpark? PySpark is basically one of the libraries of Apache Spark. Okay. So PySpark is basically the library present in Apache Spark ecosystem. And we can use the PySpark API present in the Apache Spark in order to create our solution in Python programming all with the help of Apache Spark capabilities. And Apache Spark basically runs the application on a distributed cluster, which means it creates multiple nodes. There's a driver node and there are worker nodes, which distributes the load amongst themselves in order to perform parallel processing, which is the reason it is very fast and reliable. And it also supports multiple languages. Basically, it provides API and libraries in order to write codes in multiple languages, which is Java, Scala, Python, and R. But in this playlist, we will be talking more about Python, which is nothing but the PySpark. Okay. And Scala is basically the native language of Apache Spark, where most of the core components of Apache Spark are written natively in Scala language. But our focus would be to learn Python on Spark platform, which is nothing but PySpark. Okay. So now, what are the features of PySpark? So now these are the few features of PySpark. It has in-memory computation, which means it caches the data in order to retain and reuse the data so that it can be processed in a faster way. And it has lazy evolution, which means uh, that as soon as the data transformation is written, it does not execute the code, but it executes the code when the action is triggered. Okay. And it also has fault tolerance which means the application won't stop when something goes wrong, okay? And it's also immutable, which means the data set won't be able to change once you create it, you need to create a new data set. And it also allows parallel processing with the help of partitioning, and it is persistent and reliable, and it performs coarse-grained operations. Now, moving on, there are multiple modules and packages present in PySpark. For example, PySpark RDD, which is nothing but resilient distributed data set, and PySpark data frame and SQL, PySpark streaming, PySpark machine learning libraries, graph frames, and PySpark resources. All of them are not required in data engineering field. There are some which can be used in data science field. And then Apache Spark ecosystem comprises of various APIs and libraries. If you see this image, there are libraries for Apache SQL, Apache streaming, machine learning libraries, and then GraphX. And then there are core APIs for various languages like R, Python, Scala, Java, and SQL. And we are going to learn about the Python API in this playlist. Okay. So we have already talked about the features of PySpark. And it also involves various advantages like it's scalable and performance driven. And it is easy to use if you already know Python or the basics of Python. We can easily learn PySpark. And we have already talked about fault tolerance. And it can be also used for processing the streaming data. And also it has capabilities to create machine learning modules. So basically, both data engineers and data scientists can use PySpark in their fields. Okay, so that's it for the introduction part. 
we will learn more in the upcoming videos thank you please stay tuned please like this video and please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done it yet thank you